So we're at Mouse Hole. This is our open weekend, a social event with Cart Basics and we're working with Kids of Mind charity. As you know, I do a lot of work with those guys, uh, Lewis and Amber from Kids in Mind. We've got a lot of free fishing going on. Um, we've got raffle prizes, raffles, barbecue, sweltering heat. Uh, we're hoping to have a good weekend, so let's see how it pans out. Join us with Lewis and Amber, the bosses, the chiefs of Kids in Mind, uh, the charity that we're here with this weekend. So we're going to talk a little bit about what they do, what it's all about. Introduce yourself, Lewis. What's it all about? What we're we doing? So we're offering fishing for kids and families, totally free of charge. At the moment, we're in the southeast of England. Hopefully, we look to branch further afield as and when we can. Brilliant. So we're all here now. Cart Basics has been helping the last couple of events, been getting involved, something that we really believe in. Uh, me personally as well, got grandkids, they come down yesterday, absolutely smashed it, loved it down here. Um, good show as well over the weekend, the kids. How do you get your funding? How do you get all the rods, reels, whips, nets? What are we doing? Where are you getting all that sort of stuff? Out of our own pockets, a bit yeah. of funding. We've got a raffle on this weekend, which we've sold a good amount, so Coming to here, it does cost money, it doesn't come for free. So, out of both of our salaries and Joff, all of that money goes into us doing this. When we get breakages, stuff like that, we cover the cost. The main thing is the kids just have a good time. We we'll just deal with that afterwards. That's the aftermath of the fun. <laughs> so, this weekend, you know yourself. We've, we've, had, floats in trees. <laughs> we've had floats in trees, we've had, rods. we've had about 30 floats in the trees, in the bushes, in the snags, but it's a float in the end of the day. It's, the day. it's the smiles when the kids are holding them fish, is what it's all about. Exactly that. So, lots of losses, lots of floats in trees, which someone's got to collect, so Rod, you'll be watching it, you'll be doing that for us. <laughs> lots of missing hooks, but overall, the kids have had a good time, uh, and that's what's about, getting those kids on the bank, right? Yeah. Getting them yeah. fishing, off of technology, onto the bank, getting out in the open, and being sociable. That's the main thing. Getting kids off of YouTube, TikTok, all of that sort of stuff, it's not good. And we know from our own kids, we hate it sitting on YouTube, sitting on TikTok and stuff like that. We would much prefer to go fishing, catch fish, take pictures, have a laugh. Just the other week, I took the kids fishing. Only if you catch a big fish, you're going to get in the water and take a shot of it. My kids caught a 15 pound common, he said, I want to go in the lake. He's down to his box of shorts in the lake, holding the fish. <laughs> he's seen it on TV, he's seen it on YouTube. He wanted to do it, so that's what we've done. <laughs> but it's a day where he's not sat on YouTube, he's done nothing like that, so. But YouTube, because we're obviously doing YouTube. <laughs> you can watch it, it's fine. It's you can good. watch it, if you're 18 and over, you can watch it on YouTube. <laughs> but the one thing I've seen here, uh, which I quite liked, and myself yesterday, I had the time to do it, which was bringing the families to, mm. together. Yeah. Not just getting the kids out on the bank, families here fishing with each other you know mums dads aunties uncles nans whatever we're all here doing that together which is good to see right yeah it's not and we provide it that's the thing that's it right. you turn up with a packed lunch we've got everything else we've got the bait we've got the rods we've got the reels we've got the whip poles landing mats nets every mortal thing you could need to go fishing with your kids we've got everything so jump in the car there's nowhere in the whole of England that you can take your kids out for free and have fun. But you can with us. How but that? we need help to do it as well. So we've been lucky this weekend. Uh, Mouse Hole, let's put the event on here. They've given the lake for free, correct? Yeah, that one so the Match Lakes for free. Um, they've put on lots of other stuff uh, as well around the lake for us, barbecues, lots for everyone, so there's something for everyone to do. 
but we need that going forward as well. You know, we need more venues for next year. Bigger venues, smaller venues, it doesn't matter. We need venues to, to get these kids on the bank, get you guys out on the bank. And uh, support from companies absolutely. as well. So for us, yes, tackle is expensive. Everyone, not just parents, everyone knows how expensive it is. For us, having to buy enough tackle, all the hooks, you put an order in, you need 100 hooks, you need to have enough hooks to go out, put an event on, because you're getting crack offs, they're not out there, they're not fishing with 25 pound line, they're on like five to 10 pound line, you're gonna get crack offs from an angle carp. But it's all of the little things that cost money, which if there's companies out there that wanna support us, wanna jump on board, we can put you on our banners, we can promote you, but on, you on in return, yeah, on the t-shirts what we had made. But in, in return from that, we don't wanna just have you on the banner, have you on the t-shirt, come down. Maybe we can do an event where we can bring you as a company down with the families, grandchildren, all of that. Come down, we'll put an event just for you and you can see what we're about and we can do it together. So the whole point, we need support, we need help, need venues, and we need you guys to turn up to these events that get put on um, and get involved. Uh, and thanks to a lot of people. We yeah. had volunteers, had no college, Again, they got their... We've got a swim booker down this weekend showcasing what them guys can do, which is also good for us because going forward, swim booker have already built the relationships with the fisheries that we could use to put on our events. Yeah. Obviously, us, we can send an email, it can get lost. But when you've already built that relationship with a fishery, you've got that little bit of an edge. We need to book something in. We want to put an event on. Can you facilitate this? Yes or no? Yeah. So going forward, we need, yeah, like Joff said, we need venues, we need people to get involved. That's it. That's good. And Hadlow College, because we need more coaches to get out there. And we do need, kids. yeah, we need Because I tell you, there's not enough coaches <laughs> no. and children out there, so. Well, is it six? <laughs> yeah, so we've had six guys, young guys in their teens from Hadlow College, and hats off to Brian. One message was sent, straight away wanted to back it. Yep. He said to us, what do you want? And we just said, look, we've got volunteers, but have you got some coaches? Yep, I've got six level one coaches that will come down and give you a hand. And I can't fault the guys at all. They've done a fantastic job. And without them, it would have been a lot harder to do what we've done, especially in this heat this weekend. There you go. So we're going to wrap it up there. Like I said, I think we covered everything in what the charity is doing itself. If you want to get involved, follow the links to what we're doing. Uh, look us up, follow us, subscribe, and we'll go from there. Turn around. Now see the t-shirts. Yes. Job. Like. <laughs> you can't see the t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that off. Yeah. That's it, the weekend's drawing to a close. We're just starting to wrap things up here. It's been a successful weekend. I uh, just want to touch on really what the open weekend was about and what Carp Basics is about, what we're doing. So Carp Basics, many of you that follow us, subscribe and, and, and follow our journey so far for the last few years, you know that initially we're a bait company, but we sell bait. So it's not always been about the bait. Myself and my son, uh, business partners, although a lot of you think Kyle is my business partner, Kyle is my fishing wife. So something a bit different, but 
myself and my son started this journey together. It was never always about the bait, but the bait has definitely taken off and doing something great. But we're more than that. We've been doing social events. We're getting to know kids in my charity, doing a lot of stuff with those guys, which is really important, which we'll touch on again soon. But Carp Basics, we've got a lot to come next year. We started this little bait company in the garage. We're really progressing on now, moving into the clothing side. There's a lot coming next year in terms of uh, coaching, working with Hadlow College. We've got some good opportunities coming with those guys as well. So, yeah, Carp Basics on the up. The videos, we want to do a lot more of that. We want to get more people involved in those. Social events next year. We're going to open up social events to the public so people can come along and join in with what we do. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to use our bait. There's nothing about that. It's just getting fish, fish of people, fish of them together um, to be part of something that we do. And enjoy it. We love doing what we do. Sometimes when I'm fishing on the bank, I don't get a lot of time to fish. Um, I'm literally on the bank with people, talking to people, and I love that. I don't mind that. It's not a problem. Kyle, always by my side, he's the same. We don't mind that. We don't mind just telling you what we do and what we're all about. So, Carp Basics, in a nutshell. Bait company, but moving on, building that brand, we're a lot more than that. We've got a good team around us, and we want to carry that forward. So, let's see where we can take it, how far we can go with it. So, But as for this weekend, Great social, good to see all of our members again, joined us. Lots of fish have come out. Uh, great social, good to catch up with everyone. Kids in mind, that's what it's all about this weekend really, getting those kids on that match lake, uh, seeing their faces. My grandkids got involved, that was great as well, seeing the grandkids for the first time, all catching fish, holding fish, uh, getting involved, and that's what that's about. So, but you'll see through the video more to do with that. Just wanna say thanks to a lot of people, because a lot of people will help make this happen. Mel Soul for letting us put the event on, uh, they've been great. James, the cameraman, never, never gets any praise. So James, for being patient and pushing me and pulling me for when I need to go and do something. So uh, our special guests, we've had Leo Bartrop, Hassan, Joe Turnbull, uh, Mark Foster, uh, and the ND team. They did turn up today as well to, to just bring that along, uh, get more people involved and bang their drum for what we're doing. Swim Booker, Hadlow College, Freshwater Informer, last minute. They managed to pull it out of the bag and they turned up yesterday. Uh, we've got something good coming with those guys as well in the next few months, so keep an eye out on that. And to everyone that did turn up, it's been sweltering. It's been horrible heat to be in, I know. And I appreciate everyone's time and effort they put in. So thanks to everyone that done that. Apart from that, nothing much more to say apart from let's get packed up. And we'll see you in the next video.